Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Today we're actually going to look at a pair of new shoes from the brand Gordon Jimjun. Uh, Gordon Jimjun is founded by Gordon Wayne, uh, who is a uh, shoemaker out of China. Uh, he makes really nice shoes. As you can see here, the MTO process provides a lot of options, both in last size, color, width, um, even the instep size. Um, and um, a lot of different materials for you. I didn't even show you the suede, but there's a lot of options there. And lastly, of course, they come with free shoe trees as part of the purchase. Well, hello and welcome. Today, I was lucky enough to receive in the mail a pair of spiral hole cuts that I... Uh, just received from Jim Jun. Now, what is a, a spiral hole cut? So I think that this is uh, an interesting um, thing. Now this is a combination of a hole cut shoe, which is this, okay? This is known as a hole cut because it's one piece of leather, right? No, no seams except for the one. You can get them seamless, but they're very expensive, okay? Now, um, the, the spiral hole cut actually combines several other styles. It combines a long wing, but it is an Oxford. Okay, so this is a blucher, but a long wing, which has a big wing tip on it, right? It combines an, an Adelaide here, which has this U throat on it. It contains a Belmoral Oxford, which I don't have, but I'll explain when I actually open the shoe. And it combines an austerity brogue. Because unlike all the other brogues that I showed, this has no perforations or broguing. Huh? So yes, they call it an austerity brogue, but there's no broguing. It's just one of the many things within shoes that makes you go, hmm. So, so let's take a look at what this is. I apologize for my phone blowing up here. But, um, so, you could tell they like their yellow. And we take a look here and we look at the shoe. Now, first you'll notice it comes with trees. Let's take a look at the shoe bag, all right? This is like this velvety, um, kind of like a, uh, like a cloth suede. But look at the inside. That is really very, very nice. A little leather patch, says Jim Jim. Right? Jim and Jun are the name of Gordon Jim Jun's, uh, Gordon's kids. Um, and, uh, you know, it's uh, named after them. What a cool idea. So let's take a look at the shoe. Now you can buy these shoes um, from, from Gordon Jim Jun. It's all, um, it's all MTO. And you can uh, buy them uh, either in a hand welted uh, made to measure version or in a, what they call a uh, modified uh, Goodyear welted version, which is similar to the Mecariello um, Argentum ready to wear, where they actually um, do something with the insole uh, with a machine so that they can uh, then um, do the um, do the, the the insoles faster and less expensive than hand welting the shoe. So, but uh, you can see they did a nice fiddle back waist on here. It's a nice toe plate that they did for me. You can see overall. They just did a really nice job. Now, this is not a strictly um, very, very harsh fiddle. Uh, and I actually may do another video on fiddlebacks now that I own several more. But they come with the trees. And the trees themselves are pretty darn nice. Okay. You can choose your last. You choose your leather. Um, you choose the sole. You can do a bevel sole. You can do a fiddleback. There's just a lot of uh, different options there. And I, uh, I like it. So we're going to go um, uh, with that. And we'll open up the other one. And then we'll talk a little bit more about the spiral hole cut. Okay. So here we are. Now, why do they call it a hole cut? They call it a hole cut because it's one piece of leather. So this is the seam here. And it wraps around into a wing tip. Okay, and then goes all the way around like a long wing, right? Now here, 
is all the way around here, but at a higher level. So it's like a Balmoral. They call that a Balmoral line. And then goes up here to where it is a, like an Adelaide, but it doesn't have the Adelaide on this side because that would require another piece of leather. So technically I think this is a second piece of leather, but I'm not going to tell them that they're wrong. My understanding is that this style was first innovated by John Lobb a few years ago. And uh, now it's something that many of the other brands um, have started doing and um, they they continue to do quite quite nicely so uh, it's a very very cool shoe you can see that I chose this in museum cap and um, just a uh, something that's incredible that I'm really looking forward to wearing so thanks for watching so I thought I'd do something cool as I close out this video and um, you know I thank you for taking the time to keep watching um, Every now and then, uh, people ask me about um, shoes that are made in China. And I um, thought I would uh, take five different brands here that are all made in China and just give you a very kind of quick overview of, of the different brands and, and why I think that they're, they're valuable. Um, they're each pretty different. Um, they, uh, they go at things uh, totally differently. So the first one we're gonna start with is Meerman. And anybody who knows Meerman's name knows that it's Meerman Mallorca, uh, which is not in China. But if you look at every pair of Meerman shoes, it says on the inside there, designed in Mallorca, handcrafted in Shanghai, which of course is in China. Now, this is a hand welted pair. They do Goodyear welted, they do hand welted. Um, they have um, uh, leather components, they have um, uh, they do a pretty good job. You can get them with JR soles. Um, this is actually a Norvegian stitch. Uh, this is Notcher calf, which is really nice. The linings, you can get Depoy linings or you can get regular linings. There's a lot of different flexibility on, on the quality and the range of the shoes. And they can vary in price from a couple hundred to about 500 bucks, depending on what you're getting. Uh, they also offer uh, Shell Cordovan. Um, which is uh, another part of, uh, you know, the, their cool offering. So uh, a nice brand, um, very approachable from a price perspective and um, gives you a lot of flexibility. And from a hand-welted uh, Chinese shoe, um, they, they are uh, the least costly uh, by a mile. Right? Now, um, so these um, just stock shoes, uh, we're talking about 340 bucks, okay? Now, then we move on to October 10th. Now, October 10th is, um, they do a collaboration with Sons of Henry. This is French Ananai Calf. This is Janus um, Reverse Suede. This is, uh, you know, also a Depoy uh, lining. This is hand welted. They have a very, very sharp fiddle back waist on this. Um, you can get them with or without toe plates. Uh, but the, uh, the workmanship, the craft on these shoes is really, really good. I always like looking at heels, and if they're using thick heel plates versus thin heel, heels, um, that's always a, a difference for me as I start to look at, you know, just quite how refined a brand is. Now, that doesn't tell the whole story. It never does, okay? Now, these are Yosol, okay? Very similar. Uh, also a very sharp fiddle back. These actually have a tapered heel on them, which is very popular in Asia. Um, very, very nicely worked, not very nicely done. Um, really, really well-made hand-welted shoe. Um, they run about 15, 20 bucks more than the October 10th, so not significant. Um, now, in between, um, you have uh, Jim Jun, Gordon Jim Jun, and uh, these are, um, I think these run 500, um, I think it might've been 500 euros. Just to be safe, I'm gonna say that, but I'm not sure if it was euros or dollars, to be honest. Um, and then you can um, choose, um, and these are uh, uh, the spiral hole cuts that this video is about. Um, they have also a nice fiddle back, okay? not quite as sharp as the other. Okay? Of course, these don't have any wear on them yet because I just unboxed them. Um, but this has the um, altered Goodyear welt, okay? So it is a, um, a hand welted insole, but it's actually not hand carved. Um, and so because they take that extra step on it, 
Um, they still do the uh, the welting like you would with a Goodyear welt. They sew it to the insole directly, though, instead of to gemming. So that is um, that is a, a kind of a, a, a good in-between. And uh, they do offer hand-welted as well in a made-to-measure, which runs about 800 bucks. So a little difference there. These do come with trees, though, where the trees on the others are all extra. And then um, this is what I would consider, you know, the top of the line for Made in China. This is a um, Acme. This has a um, um, uh, the uh, Norvegi stitch. It has a very, very nice um, fiddle back. Um, really nice thin layered heels. Very, very high stitch density. You know, and this is on par with my Edward Greens, although Edward Greens are not hand welted, and this is. So, um, you know, this is among, you know, the, many folks will say that this is at the bespoke quality level. Um, and it's not, uh, it's not priced like bespoke, but it's not made for my feet either. I, I was able to buy it on a standard size last. Um, fits pretty well, so I'm happy with it. Um, and, and I will buy more, but they are very pricey compared to these, where these are, you know, $640. This is, uh, you know, $1,100 more, so. So I'm out for my first wear. And the, uh, the, the Jim Jims are, are pretty good. I feel like they're conforming to my feet well. Um, you do get a little bit of uh, immediate wax breaking here. Uh, I probably am not gonna wax them quite so far down. Uh, you can see kind of where, where, my feet, uh, where my feet break, but I still think my feet break at the exact right place. So, let me just uh, go a little bit closer there so you can see. Just uh, seems like it's uh, doing pretty well. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just take a couple pictures to uh, get uh, get my first shots. You can see the sole wear. I mean, I literally took out my camera right as I started here, and, and I have my, uh, my 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 grid camera here, so I can uh, look at that. I broke my blue stuff but um we'll go ahead and we'll get uh we'll get started here so let's take a look at these shoes in the wild they uh they actually do uh fit pretty well um i was asked uh i actually reached out to the maker after i had ordered these and asked whether or not i should have the instep as a medium instep or a high instep i had originally ordered them with a medium instep and after looking at my measurements and looking at a bunch of my shoe picks on Instagram, he convinced me that I needed a high one. And uh, so they fit pretty well. Uh, I just hope they don't stretch. So super excited.